What we're doing this morning is we're digging some holes out here in the uh, small cherry orchard to plant some new trees. It's good. Just a little bit, Dave. It's good. All right. You're good. Where's that other nectarine down there? Uh, I think it was this one down here. Yeah. Uh, seedling. Nectarine. Yeah, right here. So these are how little baby trees come to the farm. Isn't that cool? I gotta get to planting though and less recording. So we'll see y'all guys in the next phase. What? What's that? Okay. I leave the brain work part up to the boss. I just do the digging and the moving. <laughs> Trying to figure out now where exactly he wants uh, which tree, basically. Okay, right now I'm watering down the trees and then moving on and then we scoop more dirt in around them. After they've been watered nicely, then we scoop the rest of the dirt in around them. Okay, I'm moving to the next tree. It's late evening here. I'm going on my walk, and uh, this is an area up on top of the farm that cuts into this valley. And if you notice over here, that's part of the flume, the water flume right there. I guess it used to come across this. So that should give you some idea of about where we are. Because in my previous video, we went up on top of the other side where we actually got to see the flume a little bit closer. Check it out. There's uh, bones. Looks like a cow. It's a cow jaw. Vertebrae. Part of the hip, I think. 
few more over here, like leg bones. Okay, this is just about as far as I've been on this trail. So uh, it's going to be neat to see where it goes. I don't know, we'll find out. It might not go very far before it just runs up back into the hill. It's nice in here because it's been a very windy day. It's windy and cold and gray. It's kind of nice. I mean, it's not hot, that's for sure. And notice how much the trees are blooming. There's little buds coming out. Isn't that cool? When it does it, it sure does it fast. I'm expecting this little valley or ravine we're in probably to dead end into a some kind of a bowl and then go up. We'll find out though. Deer bone. It's possible a predator lives back here. Whoa! Look at that! It's freaky! That's a whole body. <laughs> Shh! Be very, very quiet. Look at that. That's the skull, what's left of it. See, the face used to be here and underneath here. Only the brain case is really left and not much of it. Look at that, I think those are claw or teeth marks. I think those are teeth marks. Here, right here. I'm going to guess a big cat. What's interesting is in uh, archaeology we find a lot of like ancient human and ancient human like species where it's just like basically the, the top of the skull, the skull cap that's left. I think that this shows very well why that might be in a lot of cases. It's because the predators are able to chew away the thin bone of the face and around the head but then that skull is much harder to chew through cool all right let's just make sure that we're not the next meal This kind of territory is excellent ambush territory. The trail is pretty well defined. It's very narrow. Lots of stuff in the way that will obstruct our vision. Also, it's stuff that things can hide behind. So, I just always try and keep that in mind. Be extra vigilant. Be extra vigilant and look for the uh, the places where something could actually be hiding. Also, I don't normally stay right on the trail either. This is a good ambush spot because there isn't much of a choice but to use this trail. It's really congested in here. gone back this far I would have figured we would have run up against the mountain by now apparently not though cool rocks it's 
it's more of that shale. Some kind of cave. No, check the light. This is interesting. It's the stuff that my eye is naturally drawn to on the trail while walking. See it? This broken piece of this branch. This used to be up like that. And then for some reason it broke, see, and folded down. And you can tell kind of how long ago this happened by looking at it. See how dry and dead it is? See how alive and green those are? So by comparing them, I can kind of figure it took this long since it broke from here. Now what did it? I don't know. At that height, it could have been a little bird landed on it or something, you know? Okay, we're going up a little bit. I don't like being down in this, this cluttered junk here. So we're gonna go up over it and around. Next time I'll bring my pistol. Okay, I think we might be nearing the end. Oh, that's a cool rock. Totally neat. Okay, yeah. It's doing like I was expecting it to. It's just, it kind of est around here. So it's longer, so like in the shape of an S kind of is how the valley goes. So it's longer than I was thinking it was gonna be. However, you can see here, it runs out and it just becomes part of this, this mountainous wall in front of us. So we could either go up and cut back around and down to the road or we could go back the way we came i'm not really much one for going back the way i come you know so we either <clears throat> so we can either go up hit that trail that'll run down to the road or we can go back the way we came. Man, that sure looks like a cave up there. It really does. Do you see right there? I might come up and do some exploring of that one, he says. It's probably where the, the big cat lives, if that's a cave, though. I don't know. What should we do? Uh, if we go back the way we came, that's just boring. I say we keep going. What do you think? Keep going? Yeah? Alright, let's keep going. I have to watch the footing. Dang. I don't know if I'm into this. It's a heck of a climb and then a long walk all the way back. Okay, I've got a better idea. Okay. Why go the opposite way that we need to go to get out? We'll go the straightest way, except what we're gonna do, whoa, is we're gonna cut down this deer trail there. And that will come out right at the top of the orchard, if I'm not wrong. Well, I mean, it has to come out somewhere by the orchard. The orchard's in that direction. Yeah, I like this better. We don't have to go back the same way we came, which cuts down on the likelihood of an ambush. 
because some things will set up an ambush so that you get hit on the way back. So by returning on a different path uh, that I came on, cuts down on ambush. This soil's really loose. Sure can get a lot of elevation here in a short time. Okay. Now to find a way down and back home. Okay, there's the flume. Right there. I think we'll drop down underneath it and just go straight into the orchard over there. That's cool looking. Totally cool. I like those colors. Okay, so we're just gonna go down this deer trail here. Looks like it cuts right underneath the flume, right back down into the orchard. flowers oh, they smell good okay we're just about home Hope that y'all guys enjoyed this little adventure. Uh, I know it's really nice for me. What I like to do is just get the the peace, the scenery, the calm, uh, the quiet kind of, you know. And so it's neat being able to bring y'all guys along. I'm thinking about tomorrow maybe doing the uh, the barbecue like beach picnic thing over on the other side of the lake. That might be a lot of fun. I need to get that venison cooked up anyway. And then I. Uh, I don't know. We get things sorted out around the farm. We'll get to get up to Chapaca pretty quick. That'll be a lot of fun. Okay, we still got a little more adventure left. Maybe we'll go through the orchard on the way home. back in the orchard. Well, almost. Get down to the bottom of this hill. Let's 
trees are gonna be waking up pretty soon. Oh, look, they already are. Wow. Look at that. Some more grain. That's all over them. Ha ha. Good morning, sleepyheads. How cool. All right, looks like we're gonna get home just in time. This uh, windy weather we've had in gray skies looks like it might turn to rain later. I think it's in the forecast. All right, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this little outing, uh, this little hike of ours. I did, for sure. Uh, we got to see some, uh, some bones, some animal sign, some rocks, beautiful nature. And I'm going to go home cook me up some dinner. I got that cooking video coming out soon. I figure uh, next time I go to the store, I'll get everything that I want, uh, want for cooking. I'm not sure what we'll do yet. It'll be something cool, though. All right, never give up, never surrender.